الحمد للہ وقفا وسلاۃ وسلام علیہین استفا خصوص اللہ افضل ہم وخاتم النبیین محمد الامین و علیہ و صحبہ اجمعین اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لامین ذالک الكتاب لا ریب فیه خدا للمتقین الذین یؤمنون بالغیب و یقیمون الصلاة و مما رزقناهم ينفقون والذین یؤمنون بما انزل الیک و ما انزل من قبلک و بالآخرت هم یوقنون اولائک علا حدم من ربهم و اولائک هم المفلحون صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل لقنتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ربنا الہمنا رشدنا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم ارنا الحق حقا و رزقنا اتباعه و ارنا الباطل باطلا و رزقنا اجتنابه اللہم وفقنا لما تحب و ترضا آمین یا رب العالمین As I told you in the introductory lecture, we are now beginning with the first grouping of the surahs. The Makki surah was Surah Al-Fatiha, which we have already studied. Now the Madani part of this first group consists of four surahs and consisting of two pairs of two surahs each. Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Ala Imran, they are a pair. And that is evident from the fact that both start with the letters Alif, Lam, Meem. Then Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Maida, they are a pair. They start straight off. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, ya ayyuhal nas. This is how Surah Al-Nisa and Surah Al-Maida start. So this is the first pair of the Madani Surahs. Now regarding Surah Al-Baqarah, please note. This is the largest and the biggest surah of the Quran. It comprises nearly two and a half parts. It has 286 ayat divided into 40 rukus. And this surah al-mubarakah, not only regarding its size, it's one of the most important surahs of the Quran. Rather, I should say the most important surah of the Quran because It has been said so by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. There is a hadith in which he said, لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ سَنَامٌ وَسَنَامُ سَنَامُ الْقُرَانِ سُورَةُ الْبَقَرَةِ Everything has its top, highest place. And we may say every phenomenon has a climax. And the top or the climax of Quran is Surah Al-Baqarah. Now these are the wordings of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This surah, I have given it a name. Surah al-Ummatain. Surah of two ummas. The two ummas, that is the present Muslim ummah, that is the Muslims. And the former Muslim ummah, the Ibn Israel. This surah can be divided just as we Listen to the Hadith Al-Qudsi, Qasam tu salata baini wa baina abdi nisfain. Surah Al-Fatiha divisible into two absolutely equal parts. Here again we have nearly equal parts, halves of Surah Al-Baqarah. First part that comprises of 18 rukus and 152 ayat. Here the address is basically to the former Muslim Ummah, that is Bani Israel, out of the 18 rukus, more than 10, you know, they are in direct address, Ya Bani Israel, askuru ni'mati allati yadamtu alaykum, wafu bi'ahdi yufi bi'ahdikum, wa iyaaya farhaboon. This is the beginning of the fifth section, fifth ruku of this surah. And in the 15th section again, Ya Bani Israel, askuru ni'mati allati yadamtu alaykum, wa anni faddaltukum ala al-alameen. It's a continuous address to the former Muslim Ummah. In the first four rukus, they are 
some preliminary discussions and as we shall see inshallah very soon actually they are a summary of the whole of the makki quran because two third of the quran had been revealed already when surah al-baqarah was being revealed it is madani surah and this is the first madani surah the time of its revelation is beginning with the hijra till the time just before ghazwatul badr so that is actually about 16 or 17 months this surah was revealed bit by bit part by part during 16 or 17 months extending from just after hijra to just before ghazwatul badr the battle of badr so this is the first badri surah that way but two third of the quran had already been revealed that is the makki surahs so actually because allah subhanahu wa taala has placed this surah in the very beginning of the quran a gist and a summary of the teachings of the makki quran is given in four rukus in the very beginning of this surah then the four remaining rukus of this first part they are tahwili because you will find that the change in the direction of qibla from jerusalem to makka that is discussed with those four rukus and that was actually a symbol that the position that was held by the former muslim ummah bani israil for 2000 years now they are deposed from that position they were the representatives of allah subhanahu wa taala on earth for 2000 long years now they are deposed and the new muslim ummah based on the prophethood of and messengerhood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now this has taken the place this sur this this new ummah it is being installed in place of the former muslim ummah that is why the direction of the qibla that is changed from jerusalem to makkah then the second part second half of this surah it comprises of 22 rukus but the number of ayat is 134 in the first part 18 rukus but ayat 152 in the second half although the rukus number is greater 22 but the number of the ayat 134 so actually they go to balance each other and that is how i am saying that they nearly balanced half half and half you know the, this division is nearly balanced in that po- second portion the address is to the muslim ummah exclusively and two subjects are being discussed number one the sharia because the sharia is revealed after hijra before hijra there was no sharia actually no law nothing had been made farz except you know salah and that was also made farz only a year or so before hijra there was no zakah there was no saum there was nothing was declared haram no neither you know liquor was declared haram nor interest was declared haram no sharia so sharia actually was revealed in the badri surahs and in surah al baqara we find the blueprint the basic principle the blueprint of the sharia of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this goes to develop into surah al nisa and then final actually final sharia has taken the form the sharia of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in surah al maida so actually the legal the legal injunctions of the quran and secondly jihad fi sabilillah infaq fi sabilillah qital fi sabilillah these are the two subjects discussed in the second half of this surah and there is the address to the present muslim ummah now with this introduction brief introduction we start the first two rukus of this surah are very important if we keep it new as i told you tawilul khas when they were revealed what was meant and what was understood basically by these wordings by these ayat when they were revealed at that time and then we shall have the generalized view that if we just leaving away the the historical background if we if we focus our attention on the wordings then the generalized inferences then we shall discuss about them